Down to winner's finals, Kells versus Bro. Oh, and Sheik Falcon. Uh, Poor Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say about this matchup. Yeah, I think most people by now have seen enough Mewtwo King hacks to know the basics of this matchup. It's Sheik wants to get that grab, and when she does, uh, there's no platforms to break the combo. You're going to see exactly that, and then Falcon's recovery is so predi predictable off the stage that yeah. that stock should pretty much be gone as soon as he's off the stage. All right, now what she can do, or what Falcon can do against Sheik, is as soon as Sheik's in the air, as soon as she can get that grab, like Falcon can punish extremely hard. But whereas, ooh, ooh and as I say that, bro, starting to get something going. Oh, almost. These up airs, though, giving him the tippy toes just to keep him up and make sure he's not going anywhere to keep a safe combo game. There we go. Good DI by Kells, but bro snuck that side B in there. Oh, the knee came out late. Just Didn't get it out. Second too late. That's a heartbreaker. Good back air, though. Great DI. Another edge guarding else. situation. And, yeah. And he predicted go. Road would get off the ledge just a second sooner. Neither of these characters really has a solid recovery in terms of mix ups. Yeah, I mean, I do feel like it's harder to edge guard Sheik uh, only because you have to keep doing it more. Like, mm -hmm. her recovery is very predictable, but. You know, like, there's more of a chance you're going to screw it up because you have to, like, she can make it to the stage a lot of times, and you have to keep hitting her back off. It, it all depends on how intelligent the, the, sh the Sheik player is, too. Like, if they can recognize how you're challenging them uh, when they're getting back to the edge. Like, if you're facing your back towards the ledge, they know you're going to try to hog ledge. And like, and they, so they can go try to get platform and things like that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely... Um, it's a, a, a matter of... Games. Yeah, it's, it's a matter of intelligence with the, the Sheik player. Like, it's, it's very tricky game because if you mess up there's a lot of landing leg or you're just gonna get sniped the ledge sniped uh, Kel uh, rarely messes up that down through a tech chase so uh, you know he has no heart and he has no problem doing it <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah right there he went to, did a forward air on the platform but still manages to follow bro across the stage and take the stack now I wonder if we're gonna see Ooh. a character switch from bro here if he loses this match back to Marth yeah because it's not over yet I mean they're I feel like if he goes Marth, uh, Kells will go by. <laughs> I don't know, though. Oh, gets the up there. I'm actually surprised Bro managed to make it back. I thought once he went deep down there, uh, that down smash was going to be the end of him. But nope, he proves me wrong. Oh, and nice. there's the knee this time. That's the stock. All right, Bro not giving it to Kells for free. He's making something happen. He's going to make him work for it. He's he didn't take too much take damage it. yet. He's still at crouch cancel percentage, so he could still punish you pretty hard right now. He can get some going. But he gets grabbed. Oh, oh Kells wow. drops it. I just said get out immediately. Very good to win this by bro. Soft knee to jabs. Uh, it's gets really the raptor nice. boost in a knee. Wow. <laughs> you don't question, bro. He just does. It. Yo. He just does what he wants. It's this old school meta, dude. Uh, Ra raptor boost. It is good to see... Uh, you know, these old school uh, melee players getting back into it because a lot of them had dropped out of the scene to play PM. Mm -hmm. Oh, and with that solid edge guard right. by Kells, just holds the neutral air out there. Game one goes to Kells. I believe he just said I banned Dreamland. Yeah. Yes. Um, so there should not be. Also, bans. Kells, there's a handicap on you. You're already down two games. <laughs> the XP rules, man. Okay. Bro takes him to final destination. Uh, interesting choice. Uh, I'm assuming he is thinking that his punishes are going to be a lot more solid than Kells' tech chases. And the thing is, Kells, uh, Kells, she can be fraudulent at times. I can't blame him for thinking of it. Oh, man, he almost had that sick up throw up air knee. Just barely whips it, but he's still got the percentage lead. I mean, in this match, unfortunately, it doesn't mean much. Oh. But I like how he's falling behind Kells' shield, not giving Kells uh, an opportunity to grab him easily. But Kells, Kells is Kells for a reason. He still gets that grab. He goes for those guaranteed down smash, guards. dude. It's yeah. just too much. <laughs> it's just too much, though. You're not going to see uh, Kells get too fancy. He's just going to do whatever it takes to. Yeah, there's no such time. thing as fancy chic. There's just soulless. Well, I mean, you might see, like, occasionally, like, Kirby Kaze or Mewtwo can try to do some fancy stuff, you know, because they know they can get away with it. <laughs> nice. That was a good re-grab. Oh, man, just a little too early on that back air, and he gets punished for it. Spot dodge is the boost grab. That was smart. That was good. Yeah, very good reactions for Bro. I like that he's been mixing up his text, too. Like, you're not 
You've been seeing him like keep taking the same plays. That's a matter of experience too. A lot of newer players definitely kind of get into a mindset of like always oh, teching in or something like that. Did you see that sick spacing right there too? He neutral to bait out a reaction from Kells and then use the forward smash, which pulls Falcon's body back just a little bit. Ooh. And managed to get the kill off of it. Nice. And right now, uh, bro. Uh oh. 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 Wow. He gets the reverse sweet spot though. Yeah. Very good spacing on that recovery by Bro. I think that's really the only safe way to get back against Cheeks Down Smash. I mean, Bro is definitely no slouch in this matchup. Back in the day, uh, he, I don't recall him really losing to many Sheiks. Oop. Kel's just kind of trying to bait Bro to the edge there. Get some Sheik stuff going. Nice. And Bro's looking like he's starting to feel the tech skill again. Like he's getting a lot of these combos that he was dropping just in game one. So, looks like we may have an interesting set on our hands right now. If you can keep this going. And I like it. Rose mixing up his options enough that Kells isn't getting a solid read on him. Oh, nice. And neutral is through the needles. Ooh, good needle, though. And, oh. yeah, that's the stock. But just like that. There you go. Evened up. All just right. Tight battle. Oh, and oh nice. wow. Bro, uh, very brave. Trying to take the ledge from not enough people go for that yet. Oh, and he misses the tech and air dodges. And oh, uh, no. He was trying to go for a uh, crouch cancel tech there or something. And, uh, yeah, just air dodges right off the stage. That's a shame. I can't believe about air dodges. I was just trying to shoot. Oh, you're right there. Yeah. Oh, damn it. You're right. <laughs> All right, so... Um, He bans Pokemon. How do I get the chat back up? Uh, oh, sorry. I'll let you do it. All right. So we got game three starting on Pokemon here. All right. And this is a matchup that Kells loves. I mean, we all saw him 3-0 uh, Dark Raid in the first set of Grand Finals at UFGT. Uh, yes. Just, uh, just a quick reminder to you guys, this is best of five. So this is at least getting one more game after this. I mean, Bro is also no slouch in this matchup either, though. They've played it before. I know Bro's at very least taken games, and he's beaten you know all other solid Fox players. Beaten Tank. Uh. Nice. And as I say that, he takes the lead. Man, Bro, uh, Bro showing that he's not scared of. Oh, oh wow, man. that late shot! Oh, oh whoa! <laughs> he was going for the Rafter going Boost. Cheese. All right, I'm liking it, Bro. Oh I wow. Feel you. He fast he fast fell because he was trying to crouch cancel and he got shined. Yeah, that's brutal. That's a risk you always run. Like if you don't react fast enough when you're holding down. And yeah, that's a stop. Especially as Falcon, dude. Especially as Falcon. <laughs> Good stomp gets jab. Yeah, I like the jab mix-up from Bro there. Nice, and he's just trying to space him out with the knee, not letting Kels go. Oh! oh! He Solid. charged that, dude. Solid. I mean, it was a really good option because there wasn't really much Kels could do there. Maybe de isolate farther in in second place, but I don't even know if that would work. Oh, man. And that, that could have been Kels' stock, but right now he might get punished for it. Oh, wow. Bro really trying to get that Raptor boost to pay off. He's a fan of the Raptor boost. Now they're just going to play footsies. Oh, gets the back air. Bro was trying, trying to show off just a little too hard. Wow. But Instant up air off the ledge, though. Uh, Kels, Tax on uh, a little bit. fraudulent edge guarding there. Still manages to get that. <laughs> but the <laughs> and right back into it. Bro, with man, quick up air. Bro, absolutely not letting this uh, slip away from him. He's absolutely keeping this close as he wants to yeah, be. Man, just it's a smash. Yeah, the drill even. Nice. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Falcon things though. Yeah, he was in Kel's head for. Gets punished moment. for another Raptor boost. And I like that. That's uh, that need to. Uh, prevent Fox from going out there and then instantly grab the ledge. Like I don't really see Falcons do that often. It's a solid option. That was a good jab. You, you, you saw though that whole sock he lost just because of one Raptor boost. Yeah. He got shined out of it and that was it. Oh man, and as we say that, Kelly is somehow able to crouch cancel the Raptor boost that percent. Wow, Jesus. Like that move looks so cool for Ashen coverage, but it is crap unless you got the read. And uh, Kelly's bringing it back. Solid two stock. All right, so now we got 2-1 in Kel's favor. Uh, he's going back to Sheik, and we're getting Yoshi's. Uh, Yoshi's, um, 
I don't necessarily think it's a decent. I, I don't think it's a, a bad Falcon stage, but he doesn't have the uh, room he wants to work with. But uh, he's he's got kill moves and small blast zones. Yeah, I think part of his thinking might have been that Kels would have stayed Fox, and he might have switched to Marth. Yeah. So maybe he, he feels <laughs> more comfortable in the Falcon. Uh, These needles! Oh my oh, God! Wow. What are those hitboxes? And I do have to wonder if that's because of uh, Yoshi Story's uh, ledges being. You know, weird, like angled. Yeah. 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 Bro, uh, we're trying to bring it right back. There's Catches him with the tippy toe there. A good attempt by Kells there to clear him off the ledge with the needles, but Bro still managed to take the ledge. In. Oh man, misses his tech, and now he's gonna pick. So now he's gonna pick. Good up airs. He's really making good use of up airs. Oh. Oh, he jumped from ledge. The old turn yeah. winner right there. That was. I think that was a tech error. Maybe not. Gets well, the that's backer. why they call it the tournament winner. Yeah. Like, nobody ever means to do it. And <laughs> in Arizona, they say it wins the tournament for the other player. Fair enough. Yeah. Except in PM, where like it's actually a solid move. So. Because you know, you're gonna tag it. It would actually win it. the tournament for the person doing it. And as we say that, bro. Getting oh wow! Ledge. Randall lets she get a quick jab and then hog ledge. Randall apparently the only one not rooting for Falcon there. Nice. Air dodge is up to platform. That was really yeah. smart. Very smart, bro. Ooh, gets clipped with that get up. Yeah, just barely misses the spacing on that. That was, that was the hardest read on that on that Falcon kick, though. Oh, oh. wow. Oh, oh, wow. That's a heartbreaker. Definitely some tricky stuff out of this Sheik right now. Yeah, Kelza. Definitely been watching his Mewtwo King videos. And he, he does the same thing. I wonder if Fro was expecting it that time. I was hoping to get the punish off of it. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Right. Okay, there you go. Bro takes another stock. Still got a one yet. stock lead for Kelly here, though. Falcon's absolutely capable of bringing this back if he can do Falcon things, though. And Bro waiting for the exact moment he can get that grab. That was nice. Very good patience by him. A lot of people would have tried shield grabbing and got hit by one of those tilts. Or shield grabbing earlier, I should say. Ooh. Nice. Tech rolls out of there. Oh, and just Wow, like gets the reverse knee, and it's a tight. It's a pretty tight battle. Yeah, we pretty got tight battle. Of course, you know Kelsey. He's very patient. He'll always play up the lead, even if it's just a few percent. Oh, wow. He's forward tilted for out of that. Hard read with that Raptor boost, but Kells can't get the punish off of it. Yeah, that Raptor boost is just not working for him. And it was a really good job by Kells just keeping him in that corner right there and finishes the set 3-1. Strong showing by Kells, but 